and the Burning Channel is back and today we're going to be talking about the massive snowstorm that's getting ready to hit California. An atmospheric river is coming to California. Both models are in agreements. We'll see if this comes to pass. It's still quite a ways out but I have everything you need to know and if you haven't already please like and subscribe. Be greatly appreciated and without further ado let's roll right over to windy.com like we always do in the next three days up by Lake Oroville. We're not going to get a whole lot. There's some snow that's going to be down here in Folsom Lake. 1.1 you got a little bit of snow up here in the Sierras 0.6 in Mount Chasta up here 0.5 that's the next 24 hours we go to the next three days things start to light up a bit 0.8 over here 2.2 and down here where Folsom Lake is 1.9 we go the next five days lights up just a little bit more over here 5.9 up here 1.8 okay that's not very impressive we go the next 10 and bam check this out massive snows coming to the Sierras an atmospheric river 54 inches is predicted there now it's a very long way out we've been down this road before we get all excited and nothing happens but I've been holding on to this information for the last couple days as I'm just getting back from vacation I've been watching this this has been a trend and it's trending up not down it's trending more and more and both models are in agreements check this out here by mount shasta 78 96 inches of snow that is a lot of snow and it's going to give a good snowpack for the sierras coming up and it's going all the way down here it's just to the east of porterville in california and they're going to get eight a modest eight inches but that's not all oh no no over here in the colorados check this out they are calling for a massive snowstorm over here by aspen 18 inches down here 26 inches you get the gist this is all going into the colorado you were in st george down here just to the west of st george check this out st george is actually going to get some snow which is rare 0.8 over here cedar city up here 9.7 this is all good news this is good news for the Colorado in general and they say a lot of this comes from that blizzard that happened out here that I if you're on my community tab you'll see that I talked about this over the weekend as I was out on vacation I didn't have a chance Denver has been dry for several days for a long time and then you got the Hawaiian Islands out here in the next 10 days 0.2 so they had a blizzard out here on the big island right through here and I tweeted out about it so you got a lot of snow coming you got this atmospheric river that's going to come right over here and it's going to go up into not only California but Nevada Utah Denver you're finally going to break the snow drought you're definitely only going to get 4.9 inches not a whole lot Boulder Colorado 8.1 going to get quite a bit Steamboat Springs up here is going to get 14.5 you got this big swath right through here 28 so it's about two and a half inches of rain and then this swath goes all the way up into canada and out into here this is an atmospheric river that's pouring through colorado now let's go to the rain accumulation and see what the difference is over in oroville you have 4.41 so you're going to get a good swath right through here this is fantastic news have to worry about is there anything beyond this further out that could possibly be warmer and cause this to melt this is what happened in 2017 if you get four inches on this time and then this is all snow and then they bring a bunch of rain in and you get two or three inches this all of a sudden turns into about seven or eight inches which will bring the lake up rapidly and it may even cause the lake to overflow it's just hard to say but we need to check the water levels and see where they currently are they have been continuing to creep up from the first atmospheric river that went through and a few small rain systems that have come through as well so let's go over and look i want to show you the comparison this is the gfs and they're calling for 4.6 inches over here 4.53 and mount chest up here 4.48 and new snow they're calling for 40 some odd inches 50 inches right through here so they're calling for a heck of a lot more these are red 61 inches there that is like six inches of rain if that comes to pass that is crazy and that's right here on lake oroville so you have all that going on and then up here at Mount Chester now they're not calling for as much but over here by Folsom Lake they're calling anywhere between eight so this is this is going to be good news for California if it comes to pass it's too early to tell and over here by Denver as well they're not calling for near as much in Denver Denver's going to get three inches technically you'll come out of the snow drop but boy it's just not going to be very impressive coming out of the snow drop now over here you guys got to remember last year Denver was white everything to the east 
was white. They had flooding going on right through here. Dodge City, Colby, up there was quite a bit. Cheyenne was getting a lot of snow as well. All this east of the divide was getting wet and all this over here was dry. This year it's trending the opposite so far. There's getting a lot more snow over here and less snow over here. So this is good for the Colorado, bad for over here. We go to snow depth and the snow depth is just not very impressive. Denver snow depths like 1.4 supposedly. Aspen down here 16.5 so you can see what I'm talking about the snow depth to the east is just not that impressive and to the west is very impressive so we'll take what we can get we'll see what happens as we roll over to Lake Oroville the water level is currently 672.63 feet MSL Monday December 6, 2021 at 3 p.m. The level is 227.37 feet below full pool of 900. The level has increased 0.8 and this thing has been on the increase since October 23rd where the atmospheric river rolled through and it has been increasing every day which is good because for a while there it was just on a complete downhill spiral. Let's roll over to Lake Shasta now and see where those water levels are. As we roll over to Lake Shasta water level, the water level currently is 895.46 feet MSL Monday, December 6, 2021 at 2 p.m. The level is 171.54 feet below full pool of 1067 and the thing has increased 0 0.03 feet and you can see that it's pretty well kind of up and down a little bit as we come in here you can see that it has gone up and down some so they're de in desperate need of more rain coming so that's good let's roll over to lake pal and see what is going on at lake pal as we roll over to lake pal water level is 3541.11 feet msl sunday december 5th 2021 at 12 a.m the level is 158.89 feet below full pool of 3700 and the thing continues to drop and drop and drop some more and it's just not a good situation however there is some snow in the forecast so this thing will start to rise come late april may somewhere in there it should start to increase how much to be determined just depending on how much snowfall we get or if there's an unforeseen rain event coming to the mountains which is unlikely let's roll down to lake mead and see what is going on there as we roll down to lake mead the water level is 165.15 feet msl monday december 6 2021 at 4 p.m the level is 163.85 feet below full pool of 1229 feet and this thing is actually on the increase of 0 0.08 feet so not much but hey we'll take what we can get anything where we're at now is just a terrible low anything that falls below 0 0.8 feet is going to be a new low record since the lake has been filled and let's hope for a lot more rain in the future so that is all i have for tonight thank you everybody for stopping by thanks for being patient with me had that family loss not so long ago then we had vacation right after that that's been planned for months and now i am back so you'll start seeing regular content if there's something that you want me to talk about, I know there's a lot of people that ask for this lake and that lake, and I don't know about those lakes till I do some studying on those lakes, and I'd be happy to do it, but please remind me because I get a lot of comments and it's hard to keep up with everybody, but I will try my best, and thanks for everybody that wished me a happy birthday not so long ago. Much appreciated, and you guys have a blessed day, and we will see you on the next one.